Hello everyone, so in this video, I will explain 9 facts about the painting The Arrest of Prince Diponegoro by Radian Saleh. This video is personal opinion based on several references for various sources. This video is only based on my interest in art. So, what are the interesting facts from the painting The Arrest of Prince Diponegoro? Instead of being curious, watch this video until I finish. Check it out. The first, one of Radin Saleh's most famous works. Radin Saleh learned to paint from the Belgian painter Payen. Through the teacher, he studied Western painting and the techniques of making it. The arrest of Prince de Bonogoro is one of result of his work which began to be made in 1856 for a year. This painting has become one of Radin Saleh's most famous works. Next, highlight the flow of Romanticism. Romanticism is a genre of painting that emphasizes emotion. Although realistic works from this genre also depend on the painted imaginations. In the arrest of Prince de Bonogoro, this emotion can be seen from the expression of the object described by Radian Saleh. Next, inspired by the work of Galay. Louis Galay painted the abdication of Charlie V in 1841. According to various sources, Radin Saleh was inspired by this painting for the arrest of Prince Diponogoro. Capture the historical moment of Prince Diponogoro. The Java War broke out in 1825. The peak was 1827 when the dogs deployed 23,000 soldiers and a modern war strategy. They even made a contest to catch Prince Dipanogoro. This war just started to reset when the prince followers were arrested one by one. Radin Saleh formed the nationalism. Before Radin Saleh, Nicholas Piman had previously painted this event in work in Taylor. The submissions of Prince Dipanogoro to General de Kock. There are pretty striking differences between these two works. Radin Saleh Described Prince Diponogoro wearing a green turban standing with his head held high, from holding back anger, showing resistance, and being tough. Meanwhile, Piman described him this passive and resigned face. In the currently, the arrest of Prince Diponogoro was from of Saleh's defense of his country. Even though he studied art from Western country, his nationalism did not fade away. He even took another point of view, so that there was no dog's flag in his phenomenal fork. In negotiations, the dog's frame depends for detentions. Next, was given to King William III. After it was finished, Radin Saleh showed his painting to his friend in Germany, Duke Ernest II. On March 12, 1857, at the time, the painting has given the title and historical chest tableau the Gifangi Nami des Yafanishian Hopting Diponogoro. In English, a historic painting about the arrest of Japanese prince Diponogoro. Next, restored in 2013, the arrest of prince Diponogoro returned to Indonesia in 1975 after the two countries agreed on cultural treaty in 1969. In 2013, Susan Erhardt, a restoration expert from Germany, the Art Sari Jojo Hadi Kusumo Foundation, and the Gouda Institute Indonesia also support this activity. Next, on display at Merdeka Palace. Early, the eras of Prince Dipanogoro is displayed on one the walls the Merdeka Palace. However, this painting was previously handed over to the State Secretariat. After the restoration process was complete, and then kept at the Yogyakarta Presidential Palace. 9. Being the main character in the movie Mencuri Raden Saleh In the movie Mencuri Raden Saleh, the arrest of Prince Diponogoro is the main character. Six young men plan a heist to exchange an original painting by Raden Saleh with a replica made by character Pico, Iqbal Ramadan. So, that's all for the video discussion this time. I hope this video can be useful and add to your knowledge. See you in the next video. Bye.